Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Welcome to day 10. Well, welcome to Walking Adventures day 10. Day 11. Day 11. I, I forgot it was 11. 11. Man, I'm going to forget one of these days. I already did. I think I already said, yeah, I already said uh, the wrong word. The wrong number, the wrong day on one of my vlogs. So I was going to say one of these days I'm going to mess it up. I already did. But I'll mess it up again. But day 11. Day 11. <laughs> and I am going a new route. I'm going a new route. Here's Gertens. Here's a store called, a place called Gertens. They got this whole property like bought out. And this will be like, in the spring, this will be all full of like trees and flowers and just really big area full of plants and garden, gardening, guard, gardener, gardening, gardener, gardening, 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 okay, I'm not gonna sit here, garden stuff, yeah, <laughs> so, um, it's spring now, so, soon when it gets warmer out, people are gonna be, uh, doing their lawns and all that stuff, you know, setting up their lawns, making pretty flowers, trees, all that stuff. It's gonna look beautiful. And uh, it'll be nicer. My walks will be more better because it'll be nicer out. And I won't have, I'll wear hoodies. But I mean, I just don't have to worry about the cold. I'll have to worry about how hot it's gonna be when the humidity goes up. And I'm just sweating my ass off and it shouldn't be walking in like humidity. I remember back in the day, um, I've worked in uh, 120 humidity. Sweating my ass off. Holy cow, it was like 120 humidity. Just sweating my butt off. And then there was a time where I walked, I rollerbladed to work, I rollerbladed to work, and it was like 120, just high 10, 110 community. And dude, I barely made it to work, but I was pushing it. And uh, one of my friends, a guy that I knew, one of my friends um, drove by, I think he was with his girlfriend, I'm not sure, but he drove by and he was like, you need a ride, bro? I'm just like sweating drenched. Oh man, dude, I, I think I drank all my water or something like that, but it was really bad. I rollerbladed and then I was starting to walk. I was just like, I think I was rollerblading. Yeah, I was rollerblading because I had my rollerblades on when I got in the car when my friend picked me up or gave me, I found, saw me walking on the side of the road and, uh, and uh, rollerblading on the side of the road and it was hot out and he said, you need to ride? So I got to ride. So it was bad. So we'll see. Those probably happen on days I walk where if the humidity gets all high, I'll be walking. Or, so I'm just sweating while I'm vlogging. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it's nice out. It's actually more nicer out. It's not blowing cold. Um, I think it was like 18, 19 degrees when I checked it. Last time I checked this, so it's actually pretty nice out. I should, I mean, it's it's decent. I mean, my nose is cold, <laughs> but noses always get cold. I gotta wear my nose up, but um, I'm actually able to have my glove off, so um, yeah, so it's pretty nice out. I'm gonna walk to McDonald's, but I'm not gonna eat anything, I'm just walking to McDonald's, so that's the destination I want to go to for how far I want to walk today, so. I'm not gonna eat McDonald's. I want you guys thinking, oh, he's, he ate something. He blew his diet. No, I'm not, I just wanna walk. Oh my God, I hope I didn't cover the camera. Damn it. I probably covered the camera. But no, I'm not getting McDonald's, I'm just vlogging. I'm just walking to that area and I'll probably vlog there. So, just a nice walk. Oh, here's an area where they have like big homes. Those are some nice homes over there. It's like an area with all these huge, huge nice homes. I knew somebody, uh, I went. To, I, I knew somebody. I went to their house because they had like a, a home welcoming party and all that stuff, and it was huge. Those houses are nice. They had their own gym in their in one of the rooms, like a big gym. She like gave us a tour. It was so big, so it's really huge. So that sounds really weird. It's really huge. I was. Why did I even mention it? God dang it, Johnny! Gosh, you're dirty. You're so dirty, Johnny. <laughs> so yeah, another. Day of walking with Johnny Ridlin, getting in shape, adding walking to his exercise, to my exercise, and then I'm gonna go hit the gym later, and then I'm probably I'm gonna go live on you now to uh, have a show for uh, one of my best friends is one year on you now show, so I want to throw a show for her, throw a party, so uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I'm gonna do tonight: go to the gym and then go on you now and throw a party, live party for my friends one year, best friends one year on you now. Yeah, so that'll be cool. That'll be awesome. Where's my cord? There it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what's up for today. What's up? 
What's up? What's up, Johnny? <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Man, boom! Ow! All right. We walk in, we walk in. Oh, yeah, we're walking. And bam! We're at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just walking to it. Don't think, don't think I'm, I'm gonna be eating here. I should go through the drive thru. Holy crap, I'm gonna walk through the drive thru. We're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna have fun with this, okay? I'm gonna vlog. But we made some, I don't eat at McDonald's, you guys. Even when I blow my diet, I eat like once or twice, five times a year. Like, I just don't really crave McDonald's. It's good, but it's just bad for you. But I don't know, I just don't eat at McDonald's. I don't. Let's go have fun at the drive thru. <laughs> Come on, we gotta have some fun at McDonald's, right? Am I right? I hope nobody drives to the drive thru. I just wanna. I just wanna. You guys want anything? <laughs> you guys want anything? Want to see the <laughs> You guys want anything? I literally should walk past this thing here and just like. I don't think we'll get by a car. There you go, you can pick up your food right there. <laughs> Person's looking at me. <laughs> there we go. Did you guys order something? Did you pick it up? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really eat here, but it's good food, but I don't really eat here. It reminds me of what's going on with the with the world on the news about cutting food and all that stuff because people are gaining weight and all that stuff. You know, McDonald's is cutting their weight or their food. And it's like, dude, make it junk food, man. People like to have craving junk food now and then. And if people choose to eat McDonald's, people choose to eat McDonald's. And they're cutting pop and all that I've been wanting to talk about this on my... Uh, I've been wanting to talk about this on my vlog. I just didn't know when or if I should say I have a video or I was waiting until it pushed me enough to make me a video because it's annoying watching the news and people controlling what people eat. It's like, dude, everybody's able to make their own decisions. They can eat whatever they want. Cutting McDonald's fattening food is no different from other, other, you know, when you watch those shows, fattening food shows where it's like really greasy, junky foods, uh, man versus, uh, man versus, oh my God, I haven't seen it all. Man versus food. You know, those places that like have the junkiest food, but you know, you need that sometimes. You know, you shouldn't have it, but I mean, people like that. People like doing it sometimes, you know? People can eat whatever they want. People can drink whatever they want. They're, cut, they're banning soda pop and all that. So I'm like, dude, stop controlling people's lives. Stop telling people what they can't and can't drink, what they can't and can't eat, you know? Yeah, I just think people should eat whatever they want. People are, are able to do whatever they want with their lives. And also, oh my God, we gotta cross. We gotta cross, we don't want these people waiting, so. I hear somebody yell. Oh, I think somebody just said Johnny. <laughs> I think that car, because that car looked like they slowed down when it was uh, yielding. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's what I think about food. I don't know, what is your guys' opinion on when you watch the news? McDonald's is cutting, making it more healthier, and this and that, and and it's still fattening, because they said it's cutting weight, but it's still, I hear the salads are still fattening, and this and that, it's like, Okay, that was supposed to be healthy, but it's fattening. But anyways, people can eat whatever they want. That's what I say, drink whatever they want. I just don't get seeing on the news. Now they're cutting this, now they're cutting that, now they're cutting weight, they're cutting fat. Oh, I keep saying weight. Cutting fat, uh, fat calories off uh, food. It's like, let do your business and people will eat there, people will eat there. If they don't, they don't. People will not eat junk food, people will eat junk food. I mean, damn, you know? It's ridiculous. Like. This is making a big deal about cutting pop and all this stuff. Just people can drink pop if they want. You can't control what they can and can't do. <laughs> and I probably just repeated myself a bunch of times. So that's my little rant on what's been going on with the news and all this food, this, food, that, drink this, drink that. Because people are, it's got, people are, it's got, America's getting overweight or something. I don't know. I just don't think of this. America's so overweight. I've said this before in my video, or I don't rant, skip before back in the day on my main channel that. If, it, if the world's so overweight and the economy's so bad, why can't you make big size clothes for big people like me in all stores? Mm. I think you make more money if you have small, large, medium, X large, triple X, you know, hey, <laughs> like how come it's hard to find big, big people clothes since America's so overweight, right? America's so overweight. I'm walking in the street. They're all saying that. They're saying America's overweight, America's overweight. This and that. 
but yet you can't it's hard to find big clothes and you think it helped the economy business decision by having by having a uh, bigger size clothes you know I don't know what's your opinion on that I mean those are just rants about me I could be wrong I don't want to sound like I'm right and and all that stuff it's just me talking saying random stuff so I mean what's your opinion on all that if you decide to say something but that's pretty much it little rants <laughs> now that they've been brought up but like I said I couldn't I, I'm not right I don't know you know this is what I think but you know I'm not perfect I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm just saying I'm just I don't need to say I'm perfect or anything I'm not perfect <laughs> all right you guys thank you for listening to my rant and uh, and walking with me on a adventure walking adventures day 11 <sighs> I hope you're feeling good. And a lot of people have been coming to my shows and saying that their workouts, or they've been losing weight and they've been helping friends losing weight. That's an awesome thing. Keep it up. Keep it up, that's an awesome thing. Like I got my, what's helping me motivate more, this workout, for, and I've been doing, do, do, trying to do this for years, is my my really best friends, Clinton and Rach. They help, and my mom. Those people have been helping me so much. And it's so much motivation now, helping me. They help me drink, stop drinking pa. They helped me add on working, uh, walking to my work, to my workouts, and it's going great. I lost this weight, and I'm still motivated. It's great. Like having friends is a really helpful thing for motivation. Just find something that'll motivate you. But awesome to the people that have lost weight, and good, keep going for the people that are losing weight. So keep going. It's a great feeling when you're done, and it's just it's a great feeling when you put on the clothes. And you're just like, oh my god, all that hard work, and it ain't easy. Let me tell you, it ain't easy, but. It's a fun challenge. It's an awesome challenge. Challenge yourself. <laughs> My nose is like running and all that stuff. <sighs> all right. Well, uh, and thank you to my best friends, Rachel and Clinton. <laughs> I like mentioning them because it just means a lot to me that they're helping me through this. And my mom, too, helping me through this. So it's a great feeling. I love it always. They're uh, awesome people. Taking time out of their lives to help me. It's really awesome, amazing people like that out there. We need more and more people out there like that. All right, guys. Thank you. With that said, man, move out.